Hey, hello friend. My name is Chandramani and uh, uh, this is the, I think, uh, uh, sixth part, right, of Active Directory Migration. Uh, so we are performing this activity in Windows Server 2016, which is the latest version of Microsoft. So what we did here uh, in this uh, five part uh, that has completed and that we have understand. And last time we did the SQL installation on the member server, uh, but it, it was not completed, right? And uh, I think uh, we have installed the SQL Express run title member server and while install SQLs provide the service account username and password and add SQL admin account for the SQL admin that these two things also done but SQL installation is still not completed still it was not completed on the last video right and create required OU uh, on target domain as well as service account and SQL domain uh, SQL admin account on the targeted domain right let's see let's go to the my lab here but guys before you know start this uh, live session so uh, i just reminding you uh, please subscribe my channel if you're not subscribed yet client kindly subscribe my channel there is a red button it's written like subscribe just click over there and besides that button there is a bell button you just click over there then you will get automatical notification when i will upload new body videos you will get automatically my new videos on your mailbox so for that you don't need to pay a single rupee it's totally free kindly subscribe my channel and provide you know uh, more likes and share to your friends to you know you help your friends to understand these things also because it, it is very important you never gonna get it some youtube also uh, because it's it's kind of you know very complicated part and no one to an interest to make this you know complete video in very uh, clean way so i have made it please uh, you know like i need more likes from you so i can grow my channel so thank you very much so let's uh, go to my lab here. Let's go to the members over. Yeah, if you look at the members over here, everything is succeed, right? It's good news and you can close it. Okay, you can close it. Okay, now the members of a part is done. SQL installation is done. Now we will go to the target domain. Here I've created some uh, OU, right? Uh, when I migrate, it will require it to migrate to a respective OU. So let's see, I have created service account or no. I didn't create the service account. Why it is required service account in target domain? Because I will install SQL uh, in target domain also for the ADMT tool, okay? So let's create the one service account here. New user and uh, what I will keep name here. Uh, uh, TSQL. I mean, no, sorry. Uh, same name I cannot give. Uh, what I will do here? SBC underscore SQL. That's fine. No, we can uh, reverse it, right? That was the SQL underscore service. The service dot SQL. It's fine. The next here, give the password. Okay, and same thing. We'll do here. Password and remove this i told you right for the service account password should not be expired and users should not be changed the password because we will use this account as a service account i think i put password is wrong yeah do the next now service account has been created but it is not necessary to the member of somebody but it's okay by i need to create the sql administrator account here also new user uh, same thing like uh, admin SQL same you can put it reverse but it was not you know a good I mean uh, you know it's, it's not looks good but anyway so we are testing here so admin SQL that's fine right okay But a SQL admin should be the member of domain uh, admin. Remember, otherwise you will get error, and you cannot manage the SQL. Okay, because we are using the domain account here, and make uh, one. Uh, it's good the properties here. I'm sorry. Go to the properties, and do the member of domain admin. okay apply okay that's fine 
uh, so what I will do here I will copy these things because we require one backup uh, okay b underscore sorry b underscore admin SQL it's fine right uh, next put the password here okay and same things because it is not changed because I have copied from a uh, previous account exist account that's what the the options are, are, are same okay so if you look at here also that it, it already member of the domain admin because it copy this account right okay now the required account has been created here and what I will do uh, uh, let's let's make the you know SQL setup here let's bring the SQL setup to the you know targeted uh, domain the same thing I will do here I will uh, map the drive go to the browse migration to the next finish okay open the folder option here yeah uh, go to this PC go to the cell folder activate migrations tool and here the SQL setup correct let's copy it oh I'm sorry uh, this open same thing and go to the here let's put in C drive you can make it data paste it and start the installation again it will take time to extract the file yeah and it will take some time to you know extract the SQL file then it will start the installation that's fine for me and same thing I will use you know uh, the service account uh, while installing the SQL as a service account and will use uh, you know like um, uh, for uh, uh, SQL admin that's fine okay that's great news but it will take time so what is pending as of now let's uh, go to our task here okay and this command will help you to you know get the uh, user account uh, okay one second I go to this command here okay I have another command you how whether 400 users are created or not how you can check this is the power cell command here you can check it uh, what is the my use where I created the you know Okay, so here what I will do uh, so to man I need to some modify here I don't have the OU correct I don't have OU right so I, that's what it is not required I ah, see it's it's showing right it's 409 4009 uh, user right so because and if you go to the source to mine if you click over here oh I have created users right okay total users in my source domain 4009 definitely there are other users also there are service account users and the test users you know some users here also their guest administrator so um, by mix up them so it's uh, the uh, total account is uh, 4009 right nine account extra is there right that's fine then it's perfect the the command work perfect okay let's go to the target domain so what the special SQL is doing here click the installation
yeah it has started the pre check and it is done it all has passed that's reason it's came it's coming to next you know page i mean next window yeah i will do the license expect accept and here i will remove these things and the last video also last installation also I've removed it and it will take time to you know uh, set up these things okay till the time we need to wait uh, because it will take some time okay anything pending let's see let's go to the here our uh, yeah create required OU target domain as well as the service account SQL admin that this also I have done now we have started the SQL Express installation target domain for the ADMT okay so it has been started but not in so that's what I check market okay uh, let's go target domain yeah it the installation process has been started and uh, you know uh, in this you know the next video we will i think start the migration maybe i uh, know we still in, not install the admt right we have to be install the admt then we have to be install the password export uh, things the tac we need to create the key uh, to know to export the password when we migrate the user at the same time the password also will need to be migrated because when user login should not be asked to change the password so password password should not be changed and user should not get the interruption so that's what we need you know uh, um, when we migrate uh, the users at that time only password are same in the same time the password also migrate so that's the reason we uh, we will going to use the password export tool here okay i i think it will take time but no alternative way to you know go ahead to you know uh, skip this step so we have to wait uh, till the yeah yeah i think started yeah that's fine it is starting uh, you people understand right why I am installing the SQL in the targeted domain because this SQL will help me for the ADMT without database you know uh, it, 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 it doesn't work IDMT so either you can install the SQL service on the target domain or whether it, it might be you know SQL might be uh, there on your existing environment then it is not required to install here but it is testing environment I don't have any standalone SQL for the IDMT that's what I'm using this I'm installing on my uh, domain controller but it is not the best practice but in production environment there should be an SQL database you can uh, you know link your IDMT to the that but it's fine i am using you know uh, for testing and moment i am using you know, sql i am installing sql in the domain controller itself okay here we can change the instance name so you can put it instances like uh, admt uh, ins st right admt instance okay and one more thing I just tell you what we did here uh, for the SQL admin why don't we take you know admin SQL like instead of admin SQL it is better to like write uh, ADMT right because uh, it, it is it is ADMT right ADMT migration because it's ADMT migration server and we will use this account as a you know SQL admin so better to understanding so we will uh, name as a DMT okay and uh, for the account also we will make as a DMT okay and here we'll change uh, rename it so that's fine okay and uh, this is fine for me not an issue it's back off that's fine for me uh, yeah go to the ADMT instance I have changed the instances name from the default instances but in the uh, so in the member server I didn't change I I took like you know default instances okay but here I have changed 
but it is not mean that the the way I given the name you should give the same instance name as per your uh, requirement uh, you can provide uh, the instances name but make sure you remember yeah it is taking time same thing the way we have done on the uh, members of one the same thing we need to perform here also targeted uh, it is checked the drive uh, space allocation and same thing we have to be use uh, you know the account here that is adm to right i've changed it okay and provide the password here that's fine uh, you should not put the wrong password because it won't take if it is correct password then only it uh, come to the next page yeah uh, here what I will do I will add both the SQL administrator account which I have created okay uh, that one is ADMT and uh, another is B sorry B underscore admin something like that right okay oh it's a V not V check name yeah uh, do the next okay okay now it has started the installation it will take uh, you know a lot of time to uh, complete the installation so uh, what I will do I will pause the video here and uh, I will come back to you once the successful installation uh, done okay so thanks for watching this video guys uh, I remember you do not forget to subscribe my channel it is very important uh, your importance is needed your uh, you know view is needed um, for my channel then only I can make some good stuff for you uh, it is totally free of cost to subscribe my channel uh, once you subscribe my channel uh, you will get the notification I mean in the subscribe uh, besides the subscribe button there is a bell button you need to click that button uh, like once you click it uh, whatever the videos I will uploading in future and whatever the things I will upload that you will get automatically on your, on your mailbox, mailbox even though you don't have you know uh, open your YouTube and uh, you know typing my name and searching my videos you will get automatic notification on mailbox that is this is the biggest benefit for you so please subscribe my channel so thanks for watching the video once the installation is done then I will come back to you with the, some uh, you know different uh, uh, steps uh, like we will install the ADMT, we will install the password export uh, tool and then we will start the migration there are a the lot of things are there in this uh, uh, session that I will perform okay so thanks for watching this video we will I will see you on the next video